hello everyone welcome back to another video so today I have a Triumph Tiger 800 um, customers bike for a service and today we're gonna do brakes a full service first things first very convenient on a bike like this is having a center stand center stand on gonna get down there and uh, drain the oil out so for this you're gonna need a container to put the oil in um, I have this one I used for uh, quite a while now and it's really really handy having this platform on the middle um, but you can use anything anything you have so uh, place it under the bike and on the Triumph you're gonna find the drain plug is down here and you're gonna need a set of allen keys to take it off This drain plug was super tight um, and this is the reason why you don't over tight drain plugs so if you can see this this is a piece of the thread lucky enough it was just one little piece that came with it but um, when tightening it just very lightly tighten it up uh, you can even have a copper washer down here. This one doesn't have one. I have some spares in there which I will uh, fit one to, to the bike. If you screw up these threads on the sump plug, usually the sump is made of aluminium or some sort of alloy. Very fragile, very soft. And the sump plug or the screw that stops it is made of steel. And um, this has got some rust on the back. So do never 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 over tighten the sump once you finish training the oil um, there is a little copper washer just place it on the um, train plug and fit the train plug back into place so when tightening the sump plug you don't need to hold in there and jump on it like a monkey, just hold in here. Just hold as close as possible to the center. So all you do, or all the strength you have is on this end of the spanner. Because if you apply torque on the very tip of the spanner, you're going to apply lots of torque to it. Because it's multiplied by the length of the spanner in here close to the center and just tighten it and that should be all you need to uh, for the sump plug not to leak next thing grab a bit of paper uh, chop towel a old rug in fact there's one of my son's old t-shirts it's just a shop rug and just clean the surface as best as you can you're gonna grab your new oil filter, Canon, that's the uh, filter number. Open it. There is a protective layer, plastic wrapping. I'm gonna remove that. Open your new oil. And all you need is to tip your finger in the oil. That's a bit too much, but oh well, that's all you need. And just put it on your ring. There we go. And all it takes is hand tight. It should not leak whatsoever. And just gonna get some uh, brake cleaner, that's all it is. And just gonna 
So I'm just gonna get my trusty funnel. Make sure it's all nice and clean and free of contaminations. The funnel just fit in here, like so. As I'm filling, down here there's a viewfinder. And here shows you, as you see, there's a little mark on the top, a little mark on the bottom. And you want to fill the oil until it reaches very close to the top. So, just gonna grab our oil and so once you have this part filled up just gonna put the screw filler plug filler cap back on I get the key and we're gonna run the bike for a few seconds until the oil light goes off key is on kill switch on position on the triumph that is the oil light once you run the bike all you gotta have to do is double check your oil level let all the oil go down um, wait a few minutes once you turn it off you filled up the oil filter you filled up all the system with oil this level will go go down and go to the places where there wasn't oil so all you gotta do is just pop it up to the same level where I showed you before.